My name's Annette Pugh and I'm a painter from Birmingham. I've been working in Birmingham for about 30 years and this is my exhibition Happenstance, um, which is newly commissioned oil paintings for the new art gallery Warsaw. Happenstance is about uh, landscape and emotional connections to landscape. Um, the images are places that I have happened upon. There are a variety of different locations, um, predominantly quite secluded. There might be parks or private gardens, ponds that I've come across, areas that are generally unpopulated um, with quite a romantic um, atmosphere to them. They tend to be areas that I see as full of longing but are slightly unsettled and uncertain. The uncertainty in the paintings does reflect in the way that I paint them, but it is in a restlessness in the way that I paint them. On first appearance, seem to be quite quiet and quite still places. However, when you look closer, they are full of mark making and they never sit quite still. They are just on the edge of restlessness all the time. I tend to go out walking. I tend to do the same walks. Once I've found a location, I visit and revisit endlessly to see it in different light, see it in different times, um, different times of year. Um, and I photograph, I photograph the locations over and over again. It can be several years before I actually start painting them. And then I take the photographs and I change them. Straight away I change them to black and white. I take all the colour out of them, which is probably quite unusual because the paintings are highly coloured. Um, and I also play around with the contrast on them and I move them away from the original photograph quite dramatically. So I do like old technology. Um, and I project the images to different scales on the walls in my studio and on canvases until I feel that I'm happy with them. And then I sit for a long time with the images. I like to be immersed in the image before I start painting it. I tend to just paint with colour, very broad brush marks, very large swathes of colour to start off with, with no image actually there. Um, and as I begin to paint the images in, I work very, very close to the surface of the canvas. So in effect, you cannot actually see the image until you have worked for hours and stepped back. It is as close as I can get to being in the original space when I've visited it. And that's how I like to feel when I'm painting. I want to be back there again. I want to be in that space and I want to be experiencing it in the same way. And the thing about using a projection is despite the fact that once there's some colour on your canvas, you can't actually see it very well, is that it actually encompasses you as well. You are in the piece of work because it's projecting onto you, onto your body while you're painting. So as you move around, you block different parts or you cause shadow. Um, but there's something about the light of a projection. So I tend to, I do for parts of the painting, work very late into the night for very, very long hours. Um, and then there's a point where I switch the projector off and I just work without that for a while. And then I might go back to it again to get just little glimpses of light on the canvas so that I know where to put brush marks or highlights. So it's a toing and froing between sort of freehand painting, the original photograph, the acetate projection, and kind of the emotional connection, they all kind of come together. When I produce a body of work and I consider how the viewer will see that body of work, I would like that they connect with the places. I don't think they have to know where they are. They are all quite secret. It's been said before of my work that people say I've been somewhere like that or I've experienced somewhere like that. I think I want the viewer to feel as though they are experiencing the same place from the same viewpoint as I would. And some of these places 
that I have happened upon are immensely beautiful and highly charged. Um, and so I suppose I want the viewer to, to get that experience. They may not ever find that place, but they might know of places like it um, that, that, that they can dwell with, that they can sit with, that they can feel comfortable with, but just for a moment because I don't think they are still paintings in any way. I think they are constantly shifting. Although paintings are still, you're experiencing a kind of like a period of time, that period of time that I have been with them, where the light is changing, where I'm getting to know the place. And so I hope that the viewer gets that sense as well. The landing stage is the largest painting that I have done to date. It's a very private area. It's somewhere I was taken to, um, which involves kind of climbing over fences and going through streams to just come across this amazing, this amazing place that was immediately for me going to be a subject of a painting. And it was the way in which there is evidence of human presence but there is no human presence and the body of water against the sort of dense trees and the wilderness of it was a kind of beauty that I look for in my work. I wanted the scale of it to be filmic. I wanted it to be panoramic. Um, and then that will be hung next to another painting, which again is another very private location. Um, it's a private woodland. Um, and the two paintings have been worked on or worked across together so that it feels as though you are, are shifting from one scene to another um, within the works. The Swing is one of the first paintings that I did in this series. It's, there's a very strong relationship between that painting and an 18th century oil painting in the Wallace Collection in London, which is by Fragonard, which is also called The Swing. And it has been a favourite painting of mine for as long as I can remember. It's what I would call quite a frilly, romantic and quite frivolous painting in many ways. The foliage on it is absolutely stunning. But I came across this place with this kind of abandoned swing above a pool. And I knew straight away. I'd got my camera with me and I knew straight away that I was going to paint that scene. I didn't know how I was going to paint it or what size it was going to be. I just knew that that was going to be in this show. And it is actually where the title Happenstance has come from. It was that kind of happy accident or serendipity, whatever you would call it, of finding that location that kind of moved me forward and its relationship to this painting that I've always loved. And it was probably the biggest challenge in a painting that I've had because there is so much detail and so much mark making. And it is again, one of those paintings that reflects human presence without any sign of a human or a person being there. I've, I've kind of been known for figurative paintings, paintings with people in um, for quite a long time. And yet this body of work appears not to have the people in, but it's as though they have maybe just left the scene or something has happened or they are about to return. Um, or they're the viewer like me. So the people in the paintings are in my position. They are seeing them through my eyes.